Yes, sir. My tricker back up in this thing, man. Today, we might actually hit 100k subs, man. Right now, we're sitting at about 99.9k. And I just want to thank you guys for being such an amazing community and for supporting the channel like you guys have so far. Also, you guys can tell that I'm not in my normal studio today. That's because I'm actually out of town filming some new content for the channel that's going to be insane. So stay tuned for that. But with that being said, guys, let's hop straight into the video, man. This remind me of Will Smith at the Oscars, bro. It looked like he about to hand you his business card. Early this morning, Alaska had a 7.4 magnitude earthquake. And what's interesting about this earthquake is some people are saying this could be an aftershock to another seven magnitude earthquake we had back in the same area in 2020. The dad was so shook, he almost left his baby strapped to the high chair, bro. That was massive. <laughs> It kind of looked like it could be one of those UFOs in the clouds at first, but I think somebody was just in the neighborhood having a phone party. I would shampoo my hair with some ortho home defense so fast. I don't know what kind of rock this is, but it looked radioactive. This is the definition of having a hive mind, bro. That's menacing. Oh my God, what am I seeing? I feel like if this was actually debris from an exploded rocket, then the angle of approach would be more like a 45 degree falling out of the sky, not flying through the sky like that. But let me know what you guys think. Really? The only way I see this being possible is if there's some sort of craft blowing exhaust fumes or something, because this is just not natural. I 
don't know if this one counts as a Mandela effect because for that you need mass recollection, but they could be trying to tell us something. Hey, he was a lot more calm than I would be. No guessing what this is used for. surprised all right look 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 so look y'all thought i was playing i know y'all see those lights look at them not the little ones because my my little mirror thing scratched up i know you see those right there floating oh my bruh this every day out here or every night but still look at that but this really in miami i'm not playing look the airport is right over here Babe, come here. Look at this huge, this huge freaking square. Hey, both of those videos seem real, but the cube in the sky kind of makes me nervous. On a ribbon of asphalt in the Nevada desert, a strange convoy of odd vehicles with darkened windows slides along in relative obscurity. There are no signs or placards to suggest who these guys are, but the telltale license plate says federal government. At a way station near Laughlin, the convoy pulled over to evaluate who we were, so we waited too. As we did, more of the mystery trucks zipped past. Since May, when an unknown object crashed near the Colorado River south of Needles, residents have reported seeing so-called men in black in unmarked vehicles. I would guess that they're transporting something biological because those boxes on the back of every truck look like some sort of refrigeration device, but I could be wrong. The highly controversial giant barge that will house asylum seekers has docked in Portland. The Bibby Stockholm will start accommodating migrants within weeks. Pro-migration activists have called it a floating prison and a human cargo vessel. Suella Braverman hopes it will cut down the cost of asylum accommodation. The owners say the vessel will have catering facilities, faith rooms and a computer area. Concerns have been raised over the barge's safety, given it's going to house double the number of people it was designed for. This is a safety nightmare, bro. All it takes is one bad storm and it's a wrap. This here, Hollywood Records contract, and I'm signing it. I'm going to have my first record ever and selling my soul to Hollywood Records. That's what I'm doing. Right Hi! Now. <laughs> Isn't that right? Hi! So you knew what you were getting yourself into, but you still signed it?
Why'd they have to walk out to that villain music though? That's too fitting. No, thank you. There is news in the unsolved Tupac Shakur nearly three decades ago now. Las Vegas police tonight confirming a search warrant in connection with the case executed for a house in nearby Henderson, Nevada. Authorities not providing details as of yet. The iconic rapper was shot in his car off the Vegas Strip in September of 1996. Finally, but what happened to the first 48? Hmm? Got a in there. No, there's a motorcycle. Hmm? I don't see nothing down there. Can't be the motorcycles, honey. There's another oh. spark. You see what I'm saying? What's that? What is that? A tree? No. You moved it, right? Right there. See? Uh-huh. Look. There's nobody there. Where? I can't see. Look. Isn't it those people? It can't be. There's nobody Not up in the trees. There's nobody down there no more. See? They kind of look like skinwalkers or the ghost of Sleepy Hollow or something. I'm just concerned about the marine life. This can't be good for them. Hopefully that's just somebody playing with an automatic door, bro, because I would panic. It looked like he went to the salon and got a blowout. We got the Denver airport conspiracy wrong this whole time. Every protected area in the world normally uses some sort of barbed wire setup to maintain security, where the barbed wire section of the fence normally sticks out towards the people. You see it in airports, military bases, and even Area 51. But there is one location that has it all reversed. Well, you'll see. If you drive along the compound of the Denver International Airport, you'll notice that the barbed wire section of the fence is somehow facing inwards, mirroring that of prisons, as if trying to keep something from getting out. Furthermore, new reports have come out with ex-workers saying that loud roaring can be heard while walking on the lower levels of the airport, making some people wonder if actually instead of being a base for the elites, it was actually built as a prison for the reptilian people. I was just there recently. It feels like the whole airport is shrouded with mystery, so maybe. <laughs> what the f*** is that? Up 
be doing this. I don't know if this one is real or not, but that's probably why they got the cave blocked off. What is up with this tree? It is fallen, but then all of its branches are like trees now, but they're like suspended in the air by this fallen tree. It's so cool. Nature is is so mad. I would think trees that size need their own root systems, bro. I'm stumped by this one. Cockroaches are known to crawl up people's ears while they're sleeping. And they do this because they're searching for food. You see, cockroaches are attracted to fermented foods like cheese and beer. And your earwax smells just as good to them. Now, despite urban legends, bugs can't crawl all the way into your brain. But they can get stuck in your ear and sometimes require a trip to the ER. I'm about to start cleaning my ears more often. Either the road is actually going uphill, even though it looks downhill, or this is a real glitch in the Matrix road. A uh, base in Afghanistan called Bagram. Back in those days, it was pretty austere. It was an old Russian air base that we were using. Um, it's basically built in a bowl in the mountains where you have to stay high right up in the last minute, and then you basically come screaming back down to, to land. Uh, the area to the side of it was called the Valley of Death because during uh, the Soviet days with the uh, Mujahideen, they had fired their rockets into a lot of the uh, helicopters so you can see all kinds of uh, wrecks and stuff in the valley below which for the most part I didn't pay attention to because I was a little busy getting the airplane on the ground safely uh, we landed and uh, basically was told to taxi to the very end of the tarmac and, and like I said it was middle of the day very hot I remember that we opened the doors and unloaded the equipment that we had brought in, uh, and then we were met at the aircraft by uh, what we later on called the babysitters, but uh, they kind of introduced themselves and said, hey, no cameras, uh, nobody's taking pictures here, we're uh, moving some high-value stuff. Uh, when the load got there, uh, we're very, of course, uh, curious to see what it was, because that's just the way you are when you're told that you're not allowed to have uh, a camera. Uh, they say this thing had been dead for maybe a day or two, uh, but it stunk. And when I say stunk, I've smelled dead things before, but this had a more of a, I want to say a musky stink. I'm too nosy for this job because I have to go in the back and see what I'm transporting. Focused this is crazy. Yeah, she really was focused she on was me totally, too. totally focused on you. All right, you guys, we're going to, we're going to go here. Now, if you look at this, not a doll, mannequin, she is looking down she's definitely looking down in the pictures that we took she's looking right at me so i don't know if she's upset with me maybe she likes me i don't know Thank you. 
2023 has by far been the worst year for storms, bro. Even India is getting hit now. You know what this is? It's the mystery object that washed up on a WA beach, and now it's got everyone talking. Here's what we know about it so far. Whatever it is, it washed up on a beach at Greenhead, where it was found and reported by curious locals. Users on Reddit were doing their part to crack the code of what it could be, and even WA Premier Roger Cook has weighed in. Consensus seems to be growing that it's probably some returning uh, space debris. And the Premier could be onto something. Pretty sure based on the shape and the size, it's an upper stage engine from an Indian uh, rocket. It's not the first piece of space junk to land in WA. When the Skylab piece of, um, of space station fell in Western Australia, mm -hmm. uh, the Western Australian government sent a fine for littering to NASA and I um, don't think NASA took it that seriously because they didn't pay it. But for now, it's off to safe storage for whatever this mysterious object is. I feel like they know exactly what it is, bro. They're probably just milking the story. Have you heard the Garth Brooks conspiracy theory? Mm. That he's a <laughs> Oh, our taste in men. You gotta be deep on, like, conspiracy TikTok, and you know I am. <laughs> and people comment his Instagram on Garth Brooks being like, where are the bodies? Because he... people oh! go missing from his shows, and they're like, Garth Brooks is all these people. That should be the next show that the weekend does about it, a pop star who is it secretly who a brings people killer. back to the green room them <gasps> that's a really good show yeah all right garth where are they at bro so i'm sure by now everyone is well aware of this new npc tiktok trend and if you live under a rock and somehow never saw this yet here's a clip from pinky doll the one who created it coconut so good mm. what? grab 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 and recently everyone's been doing this now everyone's doing it because apparently you can make thousands of dollars literally acting like an NPC on TikTok Live. And I don't think it's a coincidence that they're trying to push this while they're also trying to have everyone accept AI into the future. I think this is one of their techniques for people to accept AI and AI-like behavior for the future. But all I gotta say is people are out here making thousands of dollars on TikTok Live doing this. So if you see me in a TikTok Live tonight... You gotta be an NPC yourself if you like this. Shocking new footage reveals a massive water spout rising from the Barents Sea and mysteriously entering the clouds above. The video, filmed by stunned fishermen, appears to show an enormous cone of seawater being siphoned into the sky. As the bizarre column ascends, it makes a sharp, physics-defying turn before getting swallowed by the cloud cover. The footage quickly went viral with conspiracy theorists claiming it provides slam dunk proof of extraterrestrial activity according to their theory the video captures an alien spacecraft secretly refueling mid-flight with a colossal stream of seawater mainstream scientists have scrambled to debunk the sensational rumors suggesting the footage shows a rare weather event like a water spout or tornado over water but the internet's ufo devotees remain unconvinced by the mundane explanation they insist the video shows indisputable evidence of an advanced alien civilization mining Earth's oceans for hydrogen fuel and other resources. Skeptics may scoff, but the clip's millions of views prove the public's appetite for mystery remains unsatisfied. Is this footage finally the smoking gun proving we're not alone? You be the judge. That's definitely not a natural water spot in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think about this one. I'm sweating just looking at that video, bro. I wouldn't survive in Arizona. Some people believe time travel is possible. Not only possible, it may have already happened. In this next video, a woman is going through some radio stations when this happens. Pay very close attention. I hope it does it again. That's not like a post-apocalyptic radio transmission, bro. That's trippy. He look like he been on that Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Olympia workout, bro. He a unit. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.